Hello and welcome back. In this session, we are going to learn about arithmetic operators, which are used to perform mathematical operations in your queries. You can use these operators inside your queries or your functions or in your procedures or wherever you want in SQL Server. We have these five mathematical operations, um, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and modulo, also known as modulus, which is used to get the remainder if one number is divided by another number, then what would be the remainder? Okay, let's have some practical uh, example of this, these operators. I have added two columns over here. You can get this jobs table, days required, and per day cost. That how many days are required to complete this task, and what would be the cost of this? Uh, task for per day on per day basis we will get the multiplication of these two columns to find out the total cost of this task let's use this you know that if I write select is direct from jobs and if I hit F5 for execute I will get all the records from this table but if I write comma over here and the this required multiply by per day cost and if I press a 5 then I'll get the total cost of this task I can also use the alias over here like total cost to get the heading of this column okay so um, this was also our first task uh, in the session get per day cost of the task okay we have got achieved our first task secondly the second task is what will be the remainder of 10 if uh, remainder if 10 is divided by 7 it is not necessary that you always get the records from the tables you can simply divide two numbers you can simply multiply two numbers for example 3 plus 19 i can execute this query to okay the output will be 22 in the same way i can use 10 remainder 7 what would be the remainder it should be 3 7 1 the 7 8 9 10 the remainder is 3 if you write 12 over here then 5 would be the remainder. So our task is to get the remainder of 10 divided by 7. What would be the remainder? 7. And we can also use ls over here. Remainder. Okay. Not necessary that you always use arithmetic operators between two columns. You can also use arithmetic operators uh, by some static values. For example, let me give you another example over here for example this task requires five days to complete and we work eight hours per day so how many hours will be required to complete this task let's have the result this required multiply by eight because we work eight hours in each day and if I hit a 5, don't get confused in this is static and this is static. This represents the columns and it is the mathematical multiplication sign. Okay, so don't get confused with this is static and this is static. It is multiplication and this is the indication that we want all columns. First we want all columns, then we need one more column in our result. Total working hours. Okay, let me correct the spelling total working hours so this task requires 40 hours to complete this task requires 16 hours 24 hours and so on so this was a simple uh, explanation of arithmetic operators I hope this should be clear to you thank you very much